dashing out through the snow in a one dog outfit sleigh. <laughs> Welcome to my 2023 gift guide or i.e. what we, my husband and I, got our kids for Christmas. I am going to jump right into this but I always preface these kinds of videos with A. This does not make me an awesome parent. What makes you an awesome parent is being present and taking care of your children. The presents over the presents. It's always the best way to go. B. Just because I can buy this stuff doesn't make me a cool parent. A cool parent is present over presents. I don't want anybody, look at me in the eye, I don't want anybody feeling bad or inferior because you can't afford a certain amount of gifts or a certain kind of gifts for your kids this year. This world is in crazy shape and I want you to know you're not alone and I don't want you to watch this video and feel that. If you even just start to feel that, click off. It ain't worth your mental health. I know you love me. I know that and I love you too and that's why I'm saying if you even start to feel that way, remember me saying this. You are a good parent. As long as you try your hardest, you love your kids, you take care of your kids, you are a good parent and you can only do the best that you can do. If for one second you begin to feel upset or less than as a parent, inferior, whatever, click off this video. I love you this video though is not worth your mental health opposite end of it if you feel I didn't get my kids enough for Christmas I, I do pretty big Christmases around here I try to as big as I can every year as big as I can it's always kind of been that way even when we didn't have a whole lot of money I tried to go as big as I could even though I feel like I go pretty big there are some people who say I don't go big enough so on the opposite side of that if you feel like I didn't get my kids enough presents for Christmas know that I give them all the presents like, I'm here in the whole world. I hang out with my kids more than I hang out with anybody. My kids are literally my best friends on the whole entire planet. They get presents all year round. <laughs> presents. And then lastly, thank you. Because I can't afford this. Because I couldn't give my kids this kind of Christmas without your presence on this channel. I never ask y'all for a dime, but y'all spend a fortune giving me your time because your time is worth more than any amount of money. It's worth more than gold. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is my job kind of, right? I don't like saying that because I, I really don't see it as a job. I literally love every minute of being a content creator or a YouTuber. I love that. I love it so much. So I don't see it as a job. But I mean, when you when you do things and you get paid for it, it's sort of a job, right? So while I do film and I do upload and I do make the content, you guys sit through the content and you guys put up with me and some of you guys watch the ads and you give me so many minutes of your life each week and I want to thank you for that. I don't care to break the barrier and say I couldn't do this without you because I couldn't. So remember those pretty faces as we go into this. I'm going to start with my youngest child and then we're going to go up to my oldest child. For reference, my kids are nine, nine-year-old girl twins. I have an 11-year-old little boy and then I have a 13-year-old boy, a teenager. <laughs> Who am I? I also didn't cut my hair. I know y'all are going to be like, Marie, cut your hair. No, it's just, it's got a lot of layers in it so it sits like that. I'm actually going to ball it up if I can find my hair bow. Um, or maybe not. Dag nab it. Am I going to have to go this whole video with my hair down? I guess I am. I'm going to go this whole video with my hair down. Starting with my youngest twin. So my girls are Rainbow High fanatics. Like they are crazy about Rainbow High. We watch the show together. They literally have me in the whole cartoon drama. Like I'm watching these kids from Shadow High and Rainbow High. And they got bands going against each other. And they got fashion design and stuff. And I get so into that stuff with them. It's not even funny. Plus I love the designs of these things. So my girls already have a lot of them. They're collecting them. They're trying to get all of them and they're very expensive dolls so a majority of theirs comes from birthday presents or Christmas presents. They rarely just get a doll throughout the year unless it's with their own money that they have throughout the year because my kids get monthly allotted money. While most of the money that I have set aside for my kids go into their own savings accounts for their future, I do give them some monthly money to spend on. They don't really make it by like a chore system or anything. Um, it's kind of special things where I offer them money to do special things or like if they surprise me with an act of kindness or something, I'll reward them with money. That ain't how the real world works, but that's how I'm doing it for my kids right now. <laughs> this pattern's not doing me any favors. So if they want to spend their allotted money on one, they will, but a lot of times it's so expensive they can't really afford that much with their allotted money. Like these dolls can get pretty pricey. So I stocked them up on them for Christmas with ones that they don't have. This one is Shadow High Scarlet Rose. Ain't she pretty? Like, ain't they so pretty? They are so stinking pretty. This one's like got a burgundy 
hair. They all come with like these little accessories. You see those like little coffees and stuff? And some of them come with like fashion clothes and accessories and stuff like that. I got my smallest one, this one. I got her Lavender Lynn. I love these names. She also comes with some accessories here. Heather Grayson. This is one that has the clothes that I was telling y'all about. Some of them come with just little accessories and the bigger ones come with, like the more expensive ones come with the little clothes and stuff, extra clothes. We got Lilac Lane. Look how stinging. This is probably my favorite. She is gorgeous. My girls have a blue one too already and it's like got royal blue hair. It's so pretty. I can't remember its name. I know its name. I just can't remember it. And then they only have one boy rainbow high doll right now. So I went ahead and picked them up. Another one. This is a shadow high one. But this one's name is Rex McQueen. That's a name. That's a, that's a, that sounds like a rock star name. Like Donnie Valentine or something like that. Those are the rainbow highs that I got my youngest one. And when I say I, I mean we. Anything I buy in my house, my husband and I buy together. But when you get married, two become one. So I is we anyway. So last year we got Colton a Furby. Colton loves Furbies, but he loves the retro ones, like the vintage ones. He don't like the way that the new ones look. He goes for the vintage ones. And those things are so expensive on eBay. It's not even funny. Like, for these little E.T. looking things, it's like... $400. It's crazy. I've never spent that much on one, but I found him cheaper vintage ones that he really loves. The girls, however, have been looking at these in magazines and they've been getting excited about these and just making hints here and there that they would want one. So we got them each one of these. My smallest one gets the purple one. I remember when I had one of these as a kid, they looked a whole lot different and I got in trouble because it said fart out loud in church. My nanny was a pastor and I took it to church. <laughs> it said fart out loud because I was teaching it. Back then, I don't know if you can still do it, but back then you could teach your furbies to say stuff. And I got in so much trouble. And then I got in trouble because I tried dyeing its hair with hair dye. It was blue with like a pink mohawk. And I tried dyeing the pink mohawk brown with brown hair dye. And it turned out looking like it was just splattered with dookie. So... <laughs> That's why my kids are not allowed to take their furbies to church. <laughs> These are new, like, sort of squishmallows that we found this year. They're um, Disney Munchlings. And I don't think they're by Squishmallow, but they're, like, seasonal. So this one is a stitch. And it comes with, like, a little Munchlings, like, pillow or something here with, like, a little winky face on the back. And then it, he's, like, a little cupcake. I've never seen these before, but while I was searching on Amazon... I told Shane, I was like, look at this. So we got them each one of these. This is a snowflake cupcake stitch with sprinkles. Cupcake, Yvonne, well, oh, that's French, I think. Seasoned sweetings. So I don't think this has anything to do with squishmallows, but they're very similar in feeling, just a little bit firmer than squishmallows. But I know my girls are going to freak out because they love anything that looks like cupcakes or sweets or anything like that. And they love, my youngest loves stitch. She loves stitch. So got her this one. I found these, and these look like they're straight out from the 80s. They look like they, they're packaged and everything from the 80s. Even the TV is an 80s TV. Like, that's an old school. That's one, that's one of them TVs that, like, you had to get up to turn a channel. But my girls love little doll accessories like this that change up a room and stuff. And a lot of the doll accessories you find on Amazon, in Walmart, whatever, or the custom ones off Etsy, they're crazy expensive. These things were so affordable, it's not even funny. So if we have to take a time loop all the way back to 1982, we're gonna do that because accessories are accessories and furniture is furniture. <laughs> Maybe they can get into the DIY spirit and, and paint the furniture or something. I'm not, I don't care about that. If they wanna do that, that's fine. As long as I'm not paying $400 for a, a doll chicken leg, I'm fine. <laughs> they can do whatever, express your creativity. I don't care, but these are a really good price. If your kids play with dolls like mine do, they love Barbie dolls, they love the Anya and Elsia on YouTube, things like that, check these out on Amazon because when we bought them, I know prices are different on Amazon, they change all the time, but when we bought them, it was very, very affordable. So we got this set, which is like a little living room entertainment set, and then check out this. It's literally a school like a little a little school set. How cool is that? The back is kind of trippy because it's upside down. And then if I do this, like, it's kind of trippy. I don't know if these are bootleg. I don't think they're bootleg. Gloria. They're by Gloria. Classroom play set. But do you see it? It's given 80s. It's given 80, 82, 83 vibes kind of thing. Even down to the colors. We don't care. My kids are going to open it and be like, oh my gosh, I've been wanting desks and stuff like that because they've been asking for desks. It even comes with like a little teacher's desk right there. How neat is that? 
Does it even come with a door? I think it even comes with a door. Like, look how cool that is. Okay. Those two furniture sets for my youngest one. And also this little thing right here. I ordered these off of Amazon. And they're little school supplies. Look how stinking cute. It's like a little chalkboard. Oh, we got like a little a little bottle of like scissors and stuff. We've got an easel. We've got little nerdy glasses. Look, oh my gosh. We've got a clipboard. <gasps> we got a little paint thing. We've got a binder. And we've got a little backpack. And you're kidding me. A little geometry angle thing. That is so cute. My girls have fits over stuff like this. They love stuff like this. And then the last thing I have for my smallest one, I don't even know. They saw these on Amazon and they begged for them. And these things have 1,400 pieces. <laughs> I don't, my girls have never had Legos in their life. They don't play with Legos. So why they wanted this, I don't know. But Shane and I were talking and he was like, we could take glue, super glue it, and glue them together. Um, because once you do Legos and they break, you don't do them anymore, right? You can use those pieces for something else. But you rarely ever have all the pieces after it's broken and stuff to make the whole thing over again. At least in my house. So we thought about super gluing it together and then using it for their Christmas decor for their room next year. So I need to still talk to them about that. Once they open this, I'll ask them what they want to do. Um, I guarantee you though, with the way they love Christmas decor, they're going to be down for that idea. So this is the one that we got the smallest one. It's Santa's visit and it's like a little, like, that, that's a big old, like, house something other. Wait, they have also, look at that, what's that? It's a Christmas tree. Look at that. This is one of the more expensive things because it has Lego on it. Anything Lego is extremely expensive so this was one of the more expensive things that's all i got my youngest daughter i'm gonna show you what i got the older twin and then i'll show you the presents that they got together because we do get them presents together that they open together and they share together they share all their toys but they open particular presents together every year and i'll show you those after i show you the oldest twins stuff my oldest twin is three minutes older than my youngest twin <laughs> So she loves Rainbow Highs, but she prefers Miraculous. And these are newer dolls that she had never seen. And while looking on Amazon, because they look on Amazon all the time. My kids look on Amazon all of the time. She saw these and she's like, Mom, I don't have those. And I was like, okay, you know, constantly all year long, I'm going through and getting stuff that I hear them mention. And then some things like this, I've just recently got because I didn't know about them until recently. And she didn't know about them until recently either. So, all year long, I'm trying to collect stuff so I don't have to go out and spend a fortune right before Christmas. Because that's just, that's never a good idea for me. <laughs> never a good idea for me. So, rather than a lot of rainbow highs, like my youngest got, she got a lot of Miraculous dolls. She's got this Vesperia one. She's got this bunny one. I think that one's so cute and so pretty. She's got this Lady Dragon one. And then she's got this regular... I think her name is Marinette Dragon Bug. This one, Dragon Bug. I think that's Marinette, though. It's just a different version of Marinette, like a different version of Ladybug. I don't really watch this a whole lot. The theme song is catchy, though. I will find myself singing the theme song while I'm doing dishes, like, da -na -na -na, na -na 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 I would put that on my Spotify playlist. I'm not kidding. So, while she did get a Marinette, that's the Dragon Bug, I think is what it's called. Lady, Dra Lady Dragon? No, it's the Dragon Bug, right? The one that's the new version. She also got a Cat Noir and a Marinette Duo. She is going to flip out over this. She is absolutely going to flip out over this. Because apparently they have a love interest. I don't know. My girls just always tell me that they ship these two. Whatever that means in kid language, I don't know. But they ship them. I think it's when you want two people to be together or something. I don't know. Now for Shadow High, I did get this. It's another boy. So now that they have three boys in total. They have the one that they have, the one that we got the smallest twin, and the one that we got the oldest twin. This one is Oliver Ocean. That's a name. That also sounds like a 
y'all know that uh rock star ronnie winters or something it sounds like that kind of name this is the furby that the oldest one got the other one's pur is purple this one is like pink and orange because she loves pink and she also loves this teal color right here so this one will go to her but it won't go to church and then for her furniture accessory kits we have a, a 1985 toilet here <laughs> they have all sorts of stuff so in on the back it talks about dining areas sweet dreams so they have the bedding set meal time they have table and chairs they have a beauty corner a cooking corner a leisure living oh that one has a flat screen tv they're moving on up in the world and a net lounge look at these like i said they might be dated my girls ain't gonna notice that and if they want to change something they'll just paint it with fair polish guarantee it guarantee it and i'm fine with that and then she has this very nice floral bed <laughs> it's given it's given my childhood <laughs> wait they have stuff on the back of this one too they have a wardrobe and mirror a grand dining room which is bigger than the other dining room we just saw a master bedroom which has a canopy on it oh the deluxe living room set looks like fancy bathroom play set and pretty set look at that those look like the rich houses back in 1982 yeah i'm getting them all of these i'm getting them all of these i know they're gonna love it you guys will i always do a christmas video where i just like set the camera up i don't film on christmas like i'm not present filming but what I do is I set the camera up and just record it like you would any big family thing. If like you had a camcorder back in the day and you just set it up because you want it for memories, that's what I do. I just put it in the corner and then I always upload it to YouTube. Another little accessory thing I got. So the youngest one got the school supplies. And then this is a Calico Critter washer. Yeah. Oh, it actually turns. <gasps> so it has a washer. It's like little vacuum like cleaning supplies. They're probably not going to use this for their calico critters. They play with their calico critters, but I will never go buy big calico critter play sets ever again because they're just not as into them as they are other things. And they end up getting broken, like, apart. Not broken, because my kids are really good with their toys. But, like, they end up breaking the house apart because all the pieces go together. And then they lose some of those pieces. And they never find them again, so they never put the house together again. And they end up using their calico critter critters as extras in their movies and stuff that they make with their LOLs and their Barbies and stuff like that. Their rainbow highs. So the the calico critters are kind of like an extra on set if you could say. So they won't use that for these, I guarantee it. But they will use these for their LOLs. I know they will. Her Disney Munchkin, is that what it's called? Yeah, M Munchlings. Her Disney Munchlings is this little mini one and it has a little pillow that says the Disney Munchins and then, oh, it has a little piece of pie or cake or something with a winky face. This one is mini, right? Holiday Toffee Pudding Mini with Icing. Holiday Toffee Pudding Mini with Icing. These are adorable. And they'll be able to decorate their room with these next year for Christmas. My kids love decorating their spaces. If you can see Colton and Cammie's room right now, they have like garland up and everything. They did the same thing for fall. <laughs> like they love decorating their spaces. They have trees in there and everything. So I know they're going to put these on their bed next Christmas. They'll be out all year long, I guarantee it. But they will definitely emphasize with these on Christmas, in the Christmas season next year. And this thing, you guys will be seeing it a lot in the background. Guarantee it. For her Lego set... She got this little village sort of thing. It's the same brand, actual Lego brand, same like Christmassy thing. This one has a Christmas tree too, a two-story building, two two-story buildings, a little train. Like it has a whole lot, but it also has 1,500 pieces. <laughs> so like I said, I'm going to bring it up to them. Um, maybe they could... Maybe they could start their own village like their daddy. Shane has a village that he loves every year. And like some of you guys will send him little things to go along with the village. And we have them up right now. And it feels like a little piece of y'all with us like all the time. I love it. But he loves the village. And so maybe they could, when we glue these, if we glue these together, maybe they could glue them together and then have them next year and make their own village in their room. Like on their dresser if they have one. Or right now where they have the cubbies on their cubby or something. That's a good idea. 
two of the presents that we got them is too big for us to drag in here. I tried dragging one in here, but it got as far as right there, and I don't think that <laughs> I was gonna make it much further. But I'll put a picture up on the screen to show you guys what we got them. So, real quick, the two small, smaller, they're not small by, in price by any means, but the two smaller things that we got them, a double pack of the Rainbow Highs. These are two Rainbow Highs that they didn't have. These are Laurel Devious and Holly Devious. Oh, they're twins! Okay. So the girls are going to have a blast with them. I know they are. And then we have Luna Madison and Sunny Madison. Twins again. One of these is Shadow High. So they're going to love those. Those they'll open together. That's They share everything. But um, like not because I, I even asked them to. Just because they do. They they share everything. Um, bigger things that I can't get over here. Their big presents this year is this. I'm going to read it off of here, but you're going to see it on the screen. This 10 play area, three story spiral slide Barbie dream house. <laughs> 75 plus pieces. It's huge. It, the box is as tall as I am sitting here. Like I'm at eye level with the box. It's huge. They have been asking for it forever. I, Shane and I hated every minute that we added that to the cart, purchased it and waited for it to get here <laughs> because A, I don't like the Barbie dream houses. I would much prefer they went with a wooden dollhouse um, like they did last year and the year prior. But they had this really cute Elsa and Anna one two, year, two or three years ago that they loved so much. They ended up gifting that to one of their friends in the trailer park and then they got an, a wooden OMG and LOL dollhouse. I love the wooden ones because they last longer and you don't have to worry about them falling apart. These Barbie Dream Houses are plastic and they're flimsy in my opinion and the pieces get lost way easier than a wooden house. It's I'm, I'm worried about it but it's like I told them, you know, you get it, you take care of it. If you don't take care of it, you're not getting another one. There's no way that I can replace something that large just because you didn't take care of it. And they know that and they're really good about that. So if for some reason it doesn't get taken care of, then that's on them. And they can either put their money together and save up for another one or learn their lesson and not get a plastic dollhouse again and then their big present is my girls are in extracurriculars they're in several extracurriculars and one of them in particular they absolutely love one of my girls is an absolute gymnast anything gymnast wise any move anything that you could ever think of she has done it and she has perfected it the kid can do flips like I've never seen before balance beams bar moves everything like she's unbelievable about it the other one much prefers karate over gymnastics they go together because they like being together and they have friends that they've made there so one of them really goes for the friends one of them goes for the friends and actually learning gymnastics <laughs> so one of them is probably going to end up moving on um, and up the tier to the competition gymnastics while the other one's probably just going to do it for fun until she gets bored of it and moves on to karate because she she loves her karate that's where she excels in that's where she's moving on up in they're both night and day but they both like to do things together so they're both in each of them <laughs> we found this on amazon and it comes with i got the one with the mat you can get the one without the mat but we have hardwood floors now so i got the one with the mat this you can fold it up easily put it to the side get it out of the way now that we have a bigger house i can do things like this for them now this would have never worked in a single wide ever it would have never worked in a single wide if we want to take it out to the yard put the mat down they want to play with it outside on the porch inside wherever they can because we have room now thank you jesus we got them the tealish it's like a mint tealish color one they had a purple one and pink one i believed but both my girls one of them doesn't like purple one of them doesn't like pink they both like teal though so i went with the teal that's all their presents uh this year i want to move on to cammy's presents cammy is my 11 year old and you guys if you've been here a while you know things are a little bit different with him cammy is impressed by anything so no matter what we give him he would just I mean we've gotten him clothes before and he just sat there and just looked at it and just been amazed with it that's something that my nanny like she always says she finds absolutely adorable about Cammy is no matter what you get him he will study it a dollar tree killer book he will study it and just look through it like it was 
a million dollar present that you you got him that being said he does have his things that he really really loves he really really loves a keto and that's been really hard this past year to find him a keto stuff that he doesn't have because he already has most of it and they don't sell a keto stuff like they used to but they did have newer a keto stuff come out that he doesn't have and I was like we could add that to his collection because I mean he loves it when one of us sits down and just plays the Aikido they're kind of like the boxing sock on boxing things that used to be big in in my childhood like you do like this this thing where you do like that and they fight together and whoever's breaks apart first they the other one wins so I was just sitting with him yesterday and playing with him and he has so many of them he has a little carrying case that he can use for them and everything ones that he does not have though are these big dragon ones. I don't even think he knows that these exist. So this is going to shock him. It's the Beast Strike Akito ones. 40 plus real battle sound effects and lights. It even has lights and stuff. So we got him this one. We got him this. Now he already has three of these, but we got him this specifically for this one right here. Every day he asked for this one right here. Every single day he asked for that one. And Shane saw this on Amazon and he was like, Rena, we might as well get it for him he already has these but he don't care about duplicates like he's he just is enthralled with anything but he really 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 wants this one so we bought this whole entire thing for that one alone because buying that one alone on ebay was ridiculous and you never know if you're gonna get a bootleg one or not we also found this new akito thing it's akito akito did like this brand thing with ninja turtles it's legends of akito teenage mutant ninja turtles it has many battling action warriors these are exactly like they're his regular Kitos, just Ninja Turtles characters. And this one comes with, I think it comes with Splinter. Or is that Splinter? I can't, no, that's not Splinter. Who is that? Shredder. It comes with Shredder and Leonardo. And then with that, we have this one that has Raphael and Crank, whoever that is. We also have Michelangelo and Bebop kind of know who they are because he talks about bebop a lot and then we have Donatello and Baxter Stockman and all these will go with this playset that he has so now he has all the Ninja Turtles and the little villains he saw these at Walmart and he begged for them and I it broke my heart to say no but I'd already had these and I was like I can't I can't like get it and already have it and stuff so Cameron rarely asks for like anything specific so it took everything I had in me to say not today you know maybe later because later it was here <laughs> he loves Aikido he loves Ninja Turtles and he loves Wolverine and he loves Thor right now and Captain America too he loves Captain America and then if it looks like he has less than the other ones it's because his big present is a Nintendo Switch Lite I didn't know whether to get him one of these or not because it's, it's a lot different you know so we got him um, his tablet which he loves his tablet so it's fun but it's also like a trademark thing he has to have every day this is just fun and I saw him eyeing the girls last year and I looked at Shane same time Shane was like we're getting him one next year we're getting him one so he's got this and the reason he has less physical presence than the other ones is because he has games piled on here video game wise like he can outplay anybody he can outplay his daddy sometimes he is so intelligent he is so crazy good when it comes to video games so he has this royal blue one my girls have different color ones and colton has a switch oled or something like that it's an actual switch my girls really like their switch lights so i knew that cammy would really like his and now he can squat up on fortnite if he wants to because <laughs> he's always watching them play fortnite and they let them they let him play on theirs every now and then but you can tell he really wants his own so he's got this as well as all his games loaded up on here i think there's five games if i'm not mistaken or six games on here that make up for the presents that he didn't get physically wise on here the games were really expensive so that's why we had to do it that way but he also got a case for it too it's not black it's actually the blue color of his switch it's the royal blue of his switch i wanted it to be a particular color because now all their switches and switch lights are color coded and nobody's fighting over that's mine i promise that's mine everybody knows because it's a particular color my oldest starting off 
I felt a Godzilla Squishmallow. All I had to do was mention it to Shane. I was like, Shane, look in the Amazon cart. And he ordered it. <laughs> so, it's got this. Colton is obsessed with with Godzilla right now. That's his big thing. Every year it seems like he has a big thing. Even though he's 13, he is very much a kid and I love that. And I think a lot of that is due to me homeschooling him and um, keeping him in that childlike mentality for as long as possible and not making him grow up any faster than he needs to. I grew up really fast as a kid. I had no choice but to. I don't remember having an actual childhood where I actually remember just wanting toys for Christmas and and playing with toys by the time I was 10 like it it wasn't a good scenario for me at all so like while my child is 13 right now and he's playing with Godzilla stuff and everything I was in a completely different area and that's I'm grateful for that every day that he's more like his daddy his daddy did the same thing he loved his childhood he stayed in his childhood for a really long time I wish I had been given that opportunity but bless Johnny I'm gonna give it opportunity to my kid I'm so glad that he's taking it and running with it so he's very much still into toys and I love that and I will never ever ever suggest anything otherwise until he's ready so his big thing is Godzilla this year We've got these little Godzillas. These are the older ones because while he loves Godzillas, he likes like the black and white ones and the old Godzilla. He doesn't like the new Godzilla or what it looks like or anything like that. So he's got this little figure that goes with his Godzilla. I think this is like, this is heavily armed Godzilla. These are actual Bandai like Godzillas. Um, they were pretty pricey. I think they were $20 a piece. Um, this one is the movie monster Gigan. Gigan. And then you have this big one <laughs> and you have this big one all those are characters I know nothing about um, this is Mecha Godzilla I think I don't know I know nothing about them oh and this one this one I know this one's Mothra because it's a it's a butterfly and he's always telling me about Mothra um, so those are all characters that he does not have. He has a few characters, but he doesn't have a whole lot. Godzilla wise, Shane found this. It's um, Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it's a comic book. Colton loves to read. He's my child in that area. He's my child in every area. He's a carbon copy of me, but but he loves to read. He will. Uh, yesterday, I I was like, Colton, it's time for you to clean your room. So he was cleaning his room, and I walked in there, and he was sitting on his bed, and I was about to say, Colton, it's time for you to clean your room. He was sitting there reading his action bible, and I was like, Boy, I can't even get mad about. It. <laughs> That's like clean your room. <laughs> he loves reading. He also loves reading to get out of things. <laughs> but he loves reading. So I know he's going to love this. Shane saw that. I knew nothing about it. But Shane's really good at picking out presents for Colton specifically. Because he knows what he likes. It's kind of harder for me. I really have to be attentive throughout the year. And listen to like hints and things that he likes. And things he notices and stuff like that. Shane can know right off the bat things that he wants because he's he knows that he has those conversations with Colton he plays with Colton with those things he knows for another book Colton also really likes Nightmare Before Christmas and he's been on a Nightmare Before Christmas kick for years <laughs> so I don't think it's ever going away and he loves cooking so for fun he'll watch baking shows and he'll watch cooking shows that's one of his favorite hobbies is to cook and me to teach him what I what little I know sometimes he teaches me how to cook and how to bake and stuff like that so this has recipes in it like pumpkin king pumpkin pie look this one's undersea what is that Undersea Galfish Scale Cheesecake Bars. Quit. Stop it. He's going to love that. He is going to absolutely love that. Speaking of Godzilla, I forgot to show you guys this. Colin's favorite color in the whole wide world is purple. And I saw this on Amazon. He loves bright colors. This is right up his alley. He is going to flip over the shirt. You know how I know? The other day we were at Ross and I was looking through the kids clothes because I make a beeline to the kids clothes and the dog stuff every time we're at Ross. And I found him this same color of purple but a Jack Skellington like Nightmare Before Christmas one. And it was $4.99. $3.99. It was $3.99. It was on Clarence or whatever. I found it on that rack. And you would have thought that was a $10,000 Gucci shirt. <laughs> he was like... 
yeah, where'd you find those? Do they have any more? I'm gonna wear this every day, Mama. You're gonna have to wash it every day. Don't dry it because it'll shrink, okay? You guys specifically wash it like this. Do you want me to show you a TikTok tutorial on how to wash my shirt so it doesn't get faded? Like, he was so excited about it. So, I know he's gonna be so excited about this one. We also, reading-wise, got these. This is his third Pokemon manga. I call it manga, but I think you're supposed to call it manga. Manga box set. This has all of his other books that he needed for his box sets. He has the first two. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the third. It's the Ruby and Sapphire box set. So all of the books are like Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby. Um, he don't have any of these. So these will be added to his collection. He takes really good care of his manga. He has Kirby mangas. He has the Pokemon mangas, Zelda mangas. He has all sorts of mangas. He really likes them because it's like a thick comic book and it's black and white. Sometimes he'll get the library. We have the library app and sometimes he'll get on there and he'll find manga that he hasn't read yet and he'll read the first volume there on the library app for free to see if it's something he's interested in. And if it is, he runs with it and asks for more. So we got this. He's been asking for this game. Shane said, so we got him this. It's Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I don't know. I know that he has a ton of Mario games, but apparently this one was just recently released. He also had a cheaper controller, like not an actual Sony controller, and it's not working. And he tells me all the time there's a drift in it, because like whenever he's playing Fortnite, I'll be, he makes me play Fortnite with him. <laughs> All my kids do. So they have me squat up and I'm usually hiding in the bushes or hiding up in the trees and they're like, Mama, you better not be hiding in a bush right now. I'm like, I can't take it. There's two of what's going on. Like, I don't like that. I'll be hiding somewhere though. And they always, my little name will show up and they always come find me. And so he's always saying on the mic, because I have headphones with him, he's always saying, Mama, there's a drift in my controller. It's a drift. It's a drift. And he's, it's wild to be on Fortnite with a 13 year old who has a drift in their controller so we got this so that they he won't have to worry about that anymore and I won't have to hear about it anymore speaking of Fortnite this is a custom LED sign and it plugs into a plugger that plugs into the wall and it lights up me and Shane have already tried it it looks so pretty this has his Fortnite name on it he's gonna flip out because it's custom and it's LED it's like neon purple his favorite color He'll probably have it up on his wall or something. He's going to flip out because I have his Fortnite name on it. Because his Fortnite name is very is something very specific. And I know when he opens this, this is probably going to be the the screaming gift. Colton has a screaming gift every year. It's a random gift. It doesn't. It isn't even the big gift that he usually opens every year. It's a random gift that he just screams over. This is going to be that one, guarantee it. We have a Nightmare Before Christmas Operation game board thing. He loves Operation. He loves Nightmare Before Christmas. We saw this on Amazon. We were like, he's got to have it. I'm excited to play this with him. And then his big presents. His big presents are two put together. Um, I don't know if he's going to open them together or not or open them separately. But. Oh. What you did? I put my ear to the door uh -huh. and I couldn't hear you so I thought you were done. That's good because I've been yelling. Yeah, I can't hear anything you're saying. That's good because I've literally Sorry. been yelling. I need, I need your help here in a minute. Oh, what do you need? We're going to pile this up to get thumbnail. I thought, like, you wanted kisses or something. I want kisses. His big presents this year. There's this Godzilla Destroy All Monsters box. Shane and I have heard about this all year long. Have we not? Uh, we've heard about it for two years. Two years. But specifically all year long. Like, it's been in every, at least weekly occurrence. This thing was how much? 85 80 yeah. $85. That's why it's his big present. He has this one, and he has part two, Destroy All Monsters. Also $85. This is his big present. It doesn't look very big, and I don't like that. But it, it was big money-wise. And it's what he wanted. It's also what he wanted. So, in it, there is Godzilla, Rodan, Mothra, and Anguirus. Anguirus. You should have been here earlier to correct me. <laughs> and then you have Gorosaurus. King Ghidorah, Manila, like a Manila envelope, and Baragon. Manila is um, Godzilla's son. Really? Yeah. Huh. And that's what we got our kids I for came Christmas. in on the tail end. You came in on the tail end. I wish you could have been here earlier. Because oh, you would have been like explaining things way better than I was. What, what do you need explained? I can give you the rough, uh, the rough outline. 
I didn't know any of that's these names Mothra. Mothra. I know this is Mothra, but who is this? That's Destroyer. Okay, that's Destroyer. That's um, Mecha Ghidorah. Mecha Ghidorah. And that's Gigan. Gigan. And that's Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. I think I said Mecha Godzilla. Can't remember. Did you tell him what um, games? Cammy got? No, can you tell him what games Cammy got? Because I can't remember. Okay, so we got him Super Smash Brothers because he is obsessed with Super Smash Brothers. Okay. And we got him all the characters to it too. Okay. They have all the DLC characters. We, we got we, him all the characters? Yeah, we got him the pack that has like all of them. So it's got Minecraft Steve and Sora and all those characters in it. Um, we got him Mario Odyssey. We got him Sonic Origins because he absolutely adores those old Sonic games. He plays them on his tablet all the time. And then we got him a Ryan Racing game. So we got him quite a few games. Yeah. Plus Fortnite and Fall Guys. He's going to smear them other people. Oh, I guarantee it. That kid is smart <laughs> as that. He's not going to have headphones or anything though. No. Um, he'll be telling them off. <laughs> I couldn't find my hair bow. I was so mad. Yeah, you look good with your hair down. Yeah, but I wanted my hair bow. I want to hear what you guys got your kids for Christmas in the comments. I want to hear what their ages are and their your gift guide. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, even night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>